And you know, as a working musician, having such a versatile rig has got to make you, it's got to really help with the getting gigs and keeping gigs. I yeah. mean, it comes down to you, obviously, but I mean, knowing that you have this kind of versatile rig that can happen really quickly has got to just make a lot, so many front of house guys and engineers happy. Yeah, it, it really does. And it's, it's funny when, back when I was going to music school, I was definitely more, uh, I'd say even obsessed with the the technical side of playing, being able to play all of the fanciest, choppiest stuff that you possibly could, all of the slapping and tapping things. And the the more that I played, the more I got focused on the actual tones that I was getting. And and I realized it was actually one of my instructors, uh, J.K. Klukens, who's uh, I know J.K. You remember J.K. Uh, so he he had all all that chop stuff, all of it. And uh, we, were, we were going over it one day, and he said, you know, we can, we can keep working on this, but if I were you, I'd learn songs. Because knowing how to instantly go into, you know, the Motown vibe or the funk vibe or the rock vibe or whatever, that's, that's what people want to hear. Mm -hmm. Just making it sound right. They don't care about all the fancy crap that you can do. No one cares. You're never going to get... Sorry, guys. No and, one's ever going to... Unless you have a YouTube channel and that's how you're making all your money, no one cares. And that's coming from JK, <laughs> who is a monster player. Monster. Monster player. But he's right. No one cares. Yes. Yeah. At least not the people hiring you to do the music. No. Yeah. They, they want the bass to sound like yeah. the record or to sound like a record. Yeah. Whatever that where is. Whether you are in the, the stage. Right. You're... Yeah, either you're replicating the record or you're creating it, but still, yeah, make it make it make sound it right. Sound right. That's all they really care about.